Hey YouTube, this is Nunet TV coming at you guys with another video and today we are going to be reacting to some best of CM Punk mentions after he left the WWE, man. This is going to be good, man, because people change his name all the time. Like, he's left for like, what is this, like his third year he hasn't been in WWE or second year he, since he left? And people are still cheering his name in the crowd. It's like that trend thing that Stone Cold got going on say, what, what, what? Like, that, that trend is, is, oh my gosh. It's like uh, the Danny Bryan yes trend. It'll never end. Um... So, once again, best of CM Punk mentions after he left. Let's get this video started. <laughs> hey. Please don't be no copyright strikes. <laughs> Because <laughs> there is a finger to point around here. There is someone to blame. There is someone Who is there one to blame? To hold accountable why CM Punk <laughs> yeah, yeah. put up. I'm done, bro. I'm done. They got uh, Triple H to shovel. Well, it's Triple H's fault. With it, anymore. It, might, it is kind of Triple H's fault. Like, WWE, man, I'm glad that WWE is back to the way it is now because. If they didn't, if they didn't do the brand split, I really would have stopped watching WWE. Like, cause they were just making like, it's like John Cena. Like, I feel like he needs to turn heel. Like, he's on SmackDown right now, but he needs to turn heel bad, man. Like, like you don't, he doesn't understand. Like, you will make f old John Cena fans so happy to turn heel, like turn bad guy. Like, you, John Cena would be the perfect bad guy, but now it's probably uh too late for all that now. And that's how you know Triple H doesn't like CM Punk in real life. I mean, come on now. We know we obviously know that Triple H is talking about CM Punk. Triple H can say all he wants that CM Punk wasn't good enough, but come on now. CM Punk was good. But he's not better than Triple H, though. CM Punk. Oh, I'm sorry. He's not here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> See, Daniel, these people want you to quit just like CM Punk. Did. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> In both of their careers, they, they don't wrestle anymore, anyway. That's crazy. Two good wrestlers. If CM Punk would have stayed in the WWE, CM Punk would be dominating right now. And if Danny Bryan would have never got injured, I don't know what would be happening right now. He would be dominating. I think if Danny Bryan would have stayed, I mean, if he would have never got injured, he probably would have got drafted to SmackDown. I believe he would have got drafted to probably SmackDown. Let me know in the comment section below what, what you guys would uh, think on that, or on that topic I just said. Why do these people cheer for quitters? Ooh. Oh, my phone. All right, we're back, guys. No more interruptions, hopefully. I'm sorry, man. The w At the time, Ryback, he, uh, he quit the WWE, I believe. But they could have did so much more Ryback, man. They, like, come on now. They had, he has so much talent, man. Like, they made him like Bill Goldberg. Like, they should have made him his own person. Like, they try, like, I don't care what nobody says. They try to make him like Bill Goldberg. Like, they're copying his gimmick. Like, why they give him that gimmick? Give him something else. He could have got some way better. Like, they, see, what the WWE tries to do is they try to give the most, the most guy that has the most muscles, they try to make that guy the destroyer for some reason. Like, every guy that has big muscles, they try to make him the destroyer. Like, you don't see any big guys that are, like, high flyers that can do all this, like, they try to make the guys with the biggest muscles the guys that is supposed to destroy everybody. Like, not everybody could be the next Brock Lesnar. There's only a few people that could be like Goldberg or could be like Brock Lesnar. You don't see any in the WWE now. Ha! 
<laughs> no, he did. Who is that? How about go away? Go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> go away. It doesn't last long, does it? No, it doesn't. There's not a lot of determination to that champ. Again, Mark Henry had a commission tweet. See him who? See him who? <laughs> I say how long you can do this. Why do people get annoyed like wow what he's saying is like why do people get annoyed when uh like WWE wrestlers or or Mr. McMahon get annoyed when he hears CM Punk? <laughs> oh my gosh CM Punk got beat down <sighs> CM Punk you should have just stick with it I'm sorry man like I thought like Oh my gosh, he was so hype. Like, everything was so hype. Like, the fight, everybody was hyping up the fight. I really thought CM Punk was going to get in there and destroy this guy. And I was like, come on now. Like, oh man, you just. And I already was banned from the UFC too from that loss. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> they like they like hearing that. You don't like John Cena. At a certain money in the bank pay per view that I had a very special moment with somebody in the all state arena. CM Punk. Okay, I remember that match. So if you guys didn't know uh, what John Cena was talking about, he was basically talking about um that match that he had. So at the time, both of them were WWE champion. I don't know how that happened, but um he was in uh he was in uh Chicago. He was in uh CM Punk's hometown, Chicago. And if um, CM Punk wins, he leaves with the belt. And if John Cena leaves, it, it stays on Raw. So CM Punk won, and he took the belt with him. And, uh, yeah, so that will basically be it for this video, guys. Like, share. Don't forget to become a new today by subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. And, yeah.